Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm gonna do a makeup routine today. I haven't done one since like 2020 or 2021, I can't remember, but now it's 2022. So here's an updated one. I'm pretty sure the products I've used have changed and like trends have changed as well. So it just made sense for me to make a new one. So I'm gonna put this on. Okay, now you can see how big my forehead is, and I somewhat resemble Hello Kitty. Not really, but you get the idea. I haven't moisturized yet, so I'm going to use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Extract, or oh, Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Apparently, it works well as a primer, but I haven't tried it that way before, and I have found that this kind of makes my face a little bit... Gre not greasy, that's not the right word, but I don't like the way it leaves my skin with it just alone. I've never really like tried or liked dewy primers or like dewy looks, so maybe that's why. Um, even though it literally says dew drops, but I don't know. I feel like it makes my skin look good though, so <laughs> like not the dewy part, but like the niacinamide, like I feel like it works well for my skin. And then since it's not nighttime, and I'm actually wearing my makeup out during the day. I'm using the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Broad Spectrum SPF 35. Oh, just 30. I thought it was 35. With Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Complex. I actually really like this sunscreen. And it's super affordable. Like, I know a lot of people like the Super Goop one, but that one's really expensive. And yeah, I feel like if I wear sunscreen every day, I'm gonna use it very quickly so i want something that's more affordable the first thing i do is i prime my face with the charlotte Tilbury setting spray i feel like using the setting spray as a primer is way better than using my bobby brown one and i know this is small but i've actually used it a lot and i just feel like it doesn't it doesn't work the same way i just feel like i like this way better because you can use it as a primer. It says to use before and after makeup anyway, so. so it's dry now. And the first thing I do is I use concealer. I think most people use foundation before they use concealer, but I always do concealer first because, I don't know, I just like it better that way. I'm using this palette with a mirror because I don't have a big mirror in front of me, so, and I get close to my face. But this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer, Hydrating Camo Concealer with a satin finish in light sand. And I basically apply it just under my eyes. And then right here, can I get red right here? And then any blemishes or like spots I think I want to cover up a little bit more. And then I use this Eco Tooth sponge. It's kind of dirty. I know it's kind of gross. I don't wash my sponges every day. But I really like this one more than the Real Technique one. Real Techniques one, I feel like it blends a lot better because I've used the Real Techniques one before. And I just like, I don't know, I feel like it's like not as bouncy. So it doesn't blend in as well. I feel like I try to go pretty light on the concealer because I use foundation. Also, I got tan recently, so my forehead is way tanner than the rest of my face, which is kind of annoying. I use the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in 120, which is classic ivory, because I feel like I actually am pretty pale. It's just my forehead's really dark. And I just put it on like this. I really wish this had a pump, but it's fine. This is a very affordable foundation and it works for me, so. Also, I feel like it's like a pretty, like good match. Like, I don't know. When I just like put it with my hands like and spread it out. I know some people just put it straight on the sponge, but it seems kind of unefficient to me to do that. And then what? Okay, all done. It really looks pretty good. So I take the LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is obviously darker than I am and I use it as kind of like a liquid 
contour or bronzer. No, contour. He says contour. Just put it right here. And then my forehead because it's pretty big. I feel like you can barely see it because I got tan. And then my nose. And for my nose and my forehead, I like to use a brush. Sometimes I just use a brush for like this part too. Just depends on how I'm feeling, to be honest. But I feel like a brush is like really good for blending it in. And then I like to keep my nose contour pretty light, like just enough so like it kind of sculpts it, but not like in too intense. Especially since because I put blush on my nose as well. So then I take the Rare Beauty Blush in Bliss. And I put like two dots there. It's very pigmented, but I'm sure everybody knows that because it is like very viral. And I used to do it with a with a brush, like blend out with a brush, but I feel like it doesn't look as good. So it looks a little better when you do it with a blender or like a sponge. a little intense but I also still have to powder after so I put a little bit extra and then my nose time for the highlight this is also from our beauty it's I think mesmerize apparently it's Selena's favorite shade and then I just look a little bit from here and I put it on my nose Very small amount. And then blend that in. Yeah. That's basically like my face makeup. I have my Laura Mercier powder and I take the poof. And powder myself. I try to avoid like where the highlight is so it still shows through. I try to use a pretty small amount of powder just enough to make me a little matte like a little less shiny. I feel like this is good. And then since I'm done with my face makeup I'm gonna spray the setting spray again. Next I do my eyebrows. This is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrible at doing my eyebrows, so if they turn out bad today, don't come for me. Wow. You know, I don't think it looks that bad. My eyebrows are very uneven, naturally, and so I've just accepted it. This one's a little bit thicker, or like, I filled it in a little bit more than the other one, but it's fine. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, or video really questions, feel free to comment bold today. The next take the next brow glue. Yeah, it's called the brow glue. And okay, honestly, it's just like too much on the applicator for me. So oh my god, why is there so much glitter on my hands? I don't know. Uh, and I like take the excess off on my hand. You can see the foundation, but I take the excess off. Because this is the only thing that keeps our eyebrows, because my eyebrows are really stubborn, like up. But then when there's too much of the residue, then it gets like, it dries up white on the eyebrows. So I have to take off the excess and then I go in and do my brow gel. And I found that it helps a lot. And then for the next brow, I'll just put on a little bit more. And then I'll scoop it back up and put it back in. Probably not the most sanitary thing, but it works for me. And I usually don't really do eye makeup, um, at least like eyeshadow for every day. Or honestly, even when I go out at night, like I'm lazy and I wear lashes anyway. So you can't really see when I do my makeup, but I take this Ofra highlight in Blissful. So I'll like take it and then put it on my inner corners. It's a little intense, but like, I like it that way, I guess. Or like, I think it makes my eyes pop out a little bit more. I go under two on the lower lash line. And it's pretty much it. I just feel like it, I don't know. I feel like it does open up my eyes more, but maybe that's just me. And then this is the eyeliner I used to use. It's the Breakup Proof Wet n Wild. 
And then it went viral on TikTok, so I couldn't get it anymore. So now I use a different one. I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which I actually used to use before I was using the Wet n Wild one, but then, I don't know. I like the Wet n Wild one more. And I'll just do a wing. This is hard to show on camera. Is that pretty small? And then I fill it in. And then I line. I line the upper lash line. I could not talk. You can see I messed up a little bit, but I'm not gonna fix it. And then time to make it even on the other side. Okay, I will say my eyeliner is not super even, but I'm not gonna spend that much time on it. I'm kind of lazy. So I'm just gonna put my lashes on, and plus usually after my lashes on, you can't even tell that it's uneven. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my skin looks amazing right now. So I'm pretty sure it's a setting spray, but also I've been asked what foundation I use many times, and it's so affordable, so I mean, also, Fit Me has so many shades, it's super inclusive. So yeah. Does my forehead even look smaller after I contoured it? I feel like it doesn't, but... Coconut water break. If I can even open it. Oh my god, I can't open it. Oh, okay. There. I really like this one, the Harmless Harvest one. This is like pretty much the last step of my makeup routine. It's the lashes. I have my lash case. It's really crusty, um, but I use these lashes. Let me show you. So these are the lashes I use. They're kind of dirty right now, but I got them off Amazon. They're dye silk. I forget what number they are, but it's in the blue container. And these are like my go-to lashes for going out everyday wear and just like, I don't know, I just feel like they suit my eyes well. And also, some people think I'm weird for this, but I don't curl my eyelashes and I don't put mascara on before I put the lashes on. I don't even put it on after either because my eyelashes just go straight down and I feel like there's no point in curling them. And if I put mascara on them, it makes it more obvious that I have two sets of lashes. So, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who does that, but I just feel like there's no point in me using mascara. I used to use the Kiss of Falscara liquid eyeliner, but I can't find it. So I'm just using this small little eyelash glue that I got um, by Eyler. Honestly, I kind of like it. It holds it really well, but the lash liner glue is a lot more easy. Er, it's a lot faster. It's more convenient. You don't have to wait for the glue to get dry or whatever. I don't know. I always use tweezers to apply my lashes because I just find it like easier that way to get it to my lash line. One lash on. You know, people might think this is too dramatic for everyday wear, but you do you, you know? Whatever makes you most confident. I'm gonna put the second one on. This is a tiny lash glue. Like it's tiny, like hand for comparison. It's like, or lash for comparison. Perfect for my lash kit though, cause I take this with me. My lash kit is honestly really cute. I just have like extra lashes or like other lashes that I've cut and worn. My tiny lash glue. And then I put my tiny tweezers in there and it's all pink. It's so cute. And then this is my giant glue ball from, <laughs> I take it off my lashes and put it there. And it's just been building up. Very convenient though, just throw it into my purse and all is good. I'm going to set again. I swear this is the best setting spray ever. When I wear masks, I don't even get transfer from my foundation onto the mask. This is like more natural lighting. I'm in front of my window right now. And this is what it looks like. Again, my skin doesn't always look like this. It doesn't look like this without foundation. I feel like it looks great. Also, oh, my room is so messy. I almost forgot, I didn't do my lips. So I almost forgot, I didn't do my lips. I usually use this NYX suede matte lip liner. 
and I don't overline or anything because my cupid's bow is really prominent and I feel like it looks weird when I overline. And then I just smudge it. And then I use the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oil in Raspberry Peach. And just put it on. Literally, tastes amazing. And it looks just like a gloss, it looks so good. And my hair doesn't stick to it. Well, if you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Look around my channel if you want, but otherwise, thank you and have a great day.